everyone my name is minisa ti i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about linear programming problem as we know businesses uh, face uh, so many problems uh, like uh, how to maximize their profit or how to minimize their cost within given resources a linear programming problem is a mathematical technique to find the best or we can say that to find optimum solution of problem linear represent while solving our problem or we can say that while finding optimum solution through linear programming we always use linear equation linear equation means where variable have always power 1 so this is linear equation because here x variable have power 1 but this is non linear equation because here variable x have power 2 while finding optimum solution through linear programming we always use linear equation not non linear equation there are mainly two main fundamental part of linear programming problem one is objective function other one is constraint objective function means what is our main objective we want to maximize our profit or minimize our cost constraint mean our limitation we have limited resources or we have a limited production capacity and through linear programming problem we can find the best solution that means a linear programming problem mainly help how we can achieve our objective despite of our limitation despite of our constraint linear programming problem have two fundamental part objective function and constraint suppose a company want to maximize their profit by producing two product a and b x1 unit of a product 10 is per unit profit from a product x2 are unit of b product 15 is per unit profit from b product this is total profit which company want to maximize that's why this will be called our objective function we are maximize z equal to 10 x1 plus 15 x2 this objective uh, company want to achieve so this is our objective function constraint are our limitation for example we have limited resources in order to produce product a we need 3 unit of resources in order to manufacture product b we need 4 unit of resources but resources are not available more than 30 suppose we are producing 4 unit of a product and 6 unit of b product this x1 x2 are unit of product na so here you can see total we need 36 resources but resources are not available more than 30 this will be called our constraint this will be called our limitation with these limitation we have to maximize our objective we have to maximize our profit or we can say that within these limitation we have to achieve our goal constraint mainly have two forms equality and inequality in case of equality you will find these kind of constraint where have equal sign in case of inequalities you will find these kind of symbol so these uh, form of constraint shows inequality now we will see formulation of linear programming problem suppose samsung is producing only two product mobile and tablet per unit profit from mobile is 2 or per per unit profit from tablet is 3 in order to produce mobile and tablet samsung need two types of machine g and h per mobile require 1 minute processing time on g type of machine and 2 minute processing time on h type of machine but tablet require 1 minute processing time on g type of machine and 1 minute processing time on h type of machine but machine g is not available for more than 6 hours and 40 minutes while machine h is not available for more than 10 hours in a day based on this question we will formulate objective and constraint function first of all we will formulate objective function we assume x1 are unit of mobile and x2 are unit of uh, tablet per unit profit from mobile is 2 so 2 x1 and per unit profit from tablet is 3 3 x2 so this is our objective uh, function this will be called our objective function so we can say that maximize z equal to 
2x1 plus 2x2 and this is our objective function we want to maximize our uh, objective and this is our uh, objective function now we will formulate constraint first of all we will see limitation of a g machine g machine is not available for more than 6 hours and 40 minutes this is limitation of resources if we convert 6 hours and 40 minutes into total minutes it will become equal to 400 uh, minutes so machine g is not available for more than 400 uh, minutes and uh, mobile need one minute processing time on g type of machine and tablet also need one minute processing time on g type of machine we can write 1 x1 plus 1 x2 because uh, mobile require one minute processing time on g type of machine and a mobile a tablet also require one minute processing time uh, time on g type of machine we can simply write x1 plus x2 so this is our constraint this is our first constraint this constraint represent limitation of uh, our resources uh, g now we will formulate uh, limitation of our next resources which is h h machine is not available for more than 10 hours if we convert 10 hours into minutes it will become equal to 600 minutes mobile need two minute processing time on h type of machine and tablet need one minute processing time on h type of machine so we will make 2x1 plus x2 1x2 or x2 meaning are same so these are our two constraint these are our two limitation we have to maximize our objective within these limitation and linear programming problem mainly help us how we can maximize our profit within these limitation within these constraints so this objective function is subject to these two constraints now we will so solve a linear programming problem with the graphic method this is our objective function which is subject to these two constraints and we assume x1 and x2 are uh, greater than or equal to 0 obviously form can't produce in negative so first of all here you can see constraint are in uh, inequality as we earlier discussed uh, constraint mainly have two forms equalities and inequalities here constraint are in the form of inequalities so first of all we will convert inequalities into equality so x1 plus 12 x2 equal to 100 now in order to calculate value of uh, x2 we will put x1 equal to 0 we will put x1 equal to 0 so here you can see value of x2 will become equal to 8.33 similar in order to find out value of uh, x1 we will put x2 0 so now now we will put x2 equal to 0 in order to find out value of x1 so here you can see value of x 6.25 so here you can see when we put uh, x1 equal to 0 then value of x2 8.33 when we put x2 equal to 0 then value of x1 is 6.25 similar we do in case of second constraint we will convert inequality into equality and put uh, x1 equal to 0 then x2 become equal to 5 after that put x2 equal to 0 then x1 equal to 10 so when we put x1 0 then x2 become equal to 5 when we put x2 0 then x1 become equal to 10 now we will plot all this point on graph on x x we have value of x1 y x we have value of x2 when x1 is 0 then x2 is 8.33 when x1 is 0 x2 is 8.33 first of all we will write value of x1 then we write value of x2 in another case you can see when x2 is 0 then x1 is 6.25 when x2 is 0 then x1 is 6.25 x1 is 6.25 and x2 is 0 now we will join all these two points similar we will plot these point on graph
similar we will plot uh, this point on a graph when x1 is 0 x2 is 5 when x1 is 0 x2 is 5 when x2 is 0 x1 is 10 when x2 is 0 x1 is 10 and we will join these two point this line represent equation 1 and this line represent equation 2 before proceeding further we need to understand what is feasible reason and what are feasible solution feasible reason is a area of graph where we can find all possible solution which satisfy our constraint please listen carefully feasible reason is area of graph where we can find all possible solution which satisfy our uh, constraint so this area will be called our feasible reason here you can see uh, both line cut each other below this this part will be called our feasible reason what are feasible solution corner point of feasible reason will be called feasible solution here you can see a b d c are corner point of feasible reason and corner point of feasible reason are called feasible solution feasible solution means all possible solution from this solution we have to find one best solution which will be called optimum solution in some cases we have unbounded feasible reason which don't have any upper or lower limited and lie somewhere here we will also study about this but when our original constraint are like this we converted uh, our constraint like this but our original given constraint in questions are like this but uh, when our questions uh, when our constraints are less than or equal to then our feasible area will this part please listen carefully when our constraints are less than or equal to then our feasible uh, reason will this part so this whole part will be called our feasible uh, reason in this problem so now this is our feasible uh, reason and corner point of feasible reason will be called our feasible solution we have four corner point a b c and d these will be called our feasible uh, solution at a point x1 0 x2 5 at b point x1 x2 both are 0 at c point x1 6.25 and x2 is 0 at d point you can see x2 is a 3 and x1 is a 4 sometime we have confusion to calculate this d point because number is in point then you can calculate uh, these two equation we will multiply second equation with the two the, this will be cancelled with each other and when we solve x2 become equal to 3 now you will put the value of x2 in this equation now x1 become equal to 4 same x1 is a 4 and x2 is a 3 so by this way we can also calculate value of this d point if you have a confusion so here you can see all this value value of a point value of b point value of c point and value of d point all these will be called feasible uh, uh, solution or we can say that all these will be called uh, possible solution of our uh, problem now we have to find optimum solution now we have to find best solution in order to find the best solution one by one we will put all these value in our objective of function this is our objective function one by one we will put all these value in this objective function in first case x1 0 x2 5 it will become equal to 100 in second case x1 0 x2 also 0 it will become equal to 0 in next case x1 6.25 x to 0 it will become equal to 156.25 in next case x1 4 x2 3 it will become equal to 160 160 is our maximum value you can see 160 is maximum value and 160 is value of this uh, d point now 
that's why we can say that this d is our optimum solution this d is our best solution so this is all about linear programming problem i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care